Are you tired of wasting money on muscle building supplements that promise the world but deliver nothing? What if I told you there's a handful of scientifically proven supplements that actually work and can help you build muscle faster? In this video, we're diving deep into the only supplements you need to accelerate your gains and the science behind them. Whether you're struggling to push past that plateau or just starting your journey into the world of fitness, these supplements could be the game changer you need. We'll break down how these supplements work, what the studies say, and how you can use them to maximize your results. So get ready to uncover the truth about muscle building supplements that can transform your physique. Creatine. Creatine is probably one of the most researched and undeniably one of the more popular ergogenic supplements on the market. While creatine is synthesized naturally within the liver and kidneys, and also found in small amounts in our food, supplementing with creatine has been proven not only to increase performance and strength gains, but also to increase muscle mass. In fact, a meta-analysis comparing 250 popular bodybuilding supplements found that creatine had the most significant impact on muscle growth. When you lift weights, your body uses up something called ATP, which is its main energy source. As ATP stores within our muscles deplete, you reach the point of fatigue where you are no longer able to perform any more reps. This is where creatine comes in. Creatine, in basic terms, aims to regenerate ATP, promoting greater energy availability and contributing to a more cumulative training volume that forces muscle growth. A 2023 meta-analysis demonstrated that creatine promoted a small increase in the direct measures in skeletal muscle hypertrophy when combined with resistance training. Another study found that men experienced greater muscle gains compared to women who supplemented with creatine. The increase in lean mass is often attributed to greater osmotic pressure resulting in muscle cell swelling, which is a key stimulus for muscle growth. Moreover, a 2022 review also suggested that, from a musculoskeletal perspective, Creatine supplementation reduced measures of muscle protein catabolism and bone resorption when combined with resistance training. So how much creatine should you take? Well, many athletes suggest starting with a loading phase of 20 to 25 grams daily for five to seven days, followed by a maintenance phase of three to five grams per day. This aims to saturate your muscles faster so you can experience those benefits sooner. While loading is not mandatory, you may opt for a more measured approach of 3 to 5 grams a day. You will see the same benefits, but you may have to wait a little longer. Beta Alanine Next up is Beta Alanine, a lesser known but highly effective supplement for boosting your workout performance. Beta Alanine is a non-essential amino acid, meaning your body can produce it on its own from other amino acids. So what exactly does Beta Alanine do? It works by boosting the production of carnosine a dipeptide that helps buffer acid in your muscles during high intensity exercise. When you work out, your muscles produce hydrogen ions, leading to a drop in pH and causing that all too familiar burning sensation. By increasing carnosine levels, beta alanine helps to neutralize these hydrogen ions, delaying muscle fatigue and allowing you to push harder for longer. One of the benefits of beta alanine is its ability to improve endurance and enhance athletic performance. However, this is somewhat exclusive to high volume workouts with a rep range between 10 to 20 reps. In a 2008 study where participants performed 6 sets of 12 reps at 70% of their 1 rep max, it was found that those who supplemented with beta alanine were able to do 22% more reps compared to placebo. But what about its effects on muscle growth? Research has been mixed. A 2011 study comparing the effects of beta alanine in college wrestlers and football players over eight weeks found that taking four grams increased lean body mass. However, a more recent meta-analysis suggested that it was unlikely to improve body composition in disease, regardless of supplementation dosage and its combination with exercise training. While beta alanine may or may not directly contribute to muscle growth, carnosine has been indicated to have antioxidant, anti-aging and immune enhancing properties in both animal and test tube studies. The general consensus suggests a daily intake of 4 to 6 grams of beta alanine, and it can take about 4 weeks to experience the ergogenic effects. A potential side effect of oversaturating with beta alanine is an unusual tingling of the skin, but this can usually be avoided by dividing your supplementation into smaller servings throughout the day. HMB Now let's delve into HMB, or beta-hydroxybeta-methylbutyrate, a supplement that's been gaining attention for its muscle-preserving properties. HMB is a metabolite of the essential amino acid leucine, which is well known for its powerful muscle-building effects, 
You can get leucine by eating foods like Greek yogurt, soybeans, beef, and chicken. When leucine is metabolized, about 5% is converted into HMB, which has been shown to play a significant role in reducing muscle protein breakdown and enhancing muscle synthesis. Research suggests that HMB may help reduce muscle protein breakdown while increasing muscle protein synthesis. Studies performed both in vitro and in various animal models suggest that HMB may be effective in the treatment of muscle wasting in various forms of cachexia. Similarly, a 2013 study in 24 elderly subjects found that supplementing with 3 grams of HMB per day preserved muscle mass during 10 days of bed rest. However, these results need to be confirmed with a larger sample size. As to whether HMB aids in muscle growth, studies have yielded mixed results. A 2015 meta-analysis of 7 studies in 287 older adults found that those who supplemented with 2 to 3 grams of HMB daily gained an average of 0.35 kilograms more muscle than those who took a placebo. A more recent meta-analysis concluded that while HMB produced a small effect on total body mass, it did not translate into significantly greater increases in fat-free mass, strength, or decreases in fat mass. While there is no conclusive evidence to suggest that HMB significantly increases muscle gain on its own, one study demonstrated that combining HMB with creatine for one to six weeks could produce positive effects on sports performance and body composition. However, research in this area has also yielded mixed results with a 2020 study suggesting that the combination of HMB and creatine did not provide a greater ergogenic benefit compared to creatine supplementation alone. Caffeine. Now let's talk about caffeine, one of the most widely consumed stimulants in the world. According to a recent 2021 review, it was found that when taken at a dose of 3 to 6 mg per kilogram of body weight and 30 to 90 minutes before exercise, caffeine can lead to small improvements in muscular strength, endurance and power. In fact, a 2011 study comparing the effects of caffeine in 13 moderately trained men found that participants who ingested caffeine completed significantly more reps to failure and lifted significantly greater weight. Caffeine works by blocking the inhibitory neurotransmitter adenosine, leading to increased firing of neurons and the release of other neurotransmitters like dopamine and norepinephrine. This boost in brain activity results in heightened energy, focus, and endurance, all of which are crucial for an intense workout. In terms of muscle growth itself, there has been some concern that caffeine may interfere with the processes that aid in muscle growth. However, a 2016 double-blind crossover study comparing the effects of caffeine in 24 healthy young adults suggested that caffeine caused an increase in interleukin-6, and researchers have interpreted this result as showing an anabolic effect of caffeine. An additional 2016 study demonstrated a similar anabolic effect in 21 men given caffeine, apple, and peat during 12 weeks of resistance training without adversely affecting blood chemistry. For optimal results, the recommended dosage of caffeine is 3 to 6 mg per kilogram of body weight, taken 30 to 60 minutes before your workout. However, it's best to start on the lower end of this range, especially if you're not accustomed to caffeine and gradually increase as needed. Be mindful of your total daily caffeine intake to avoid tolerance buildup and potential side effects like jitteriness or insomnia. Vitamin D. Vitamin D is a crucial element that many people, especially those in colder climates, often lack. Specifically, vitamin D3 is produced in your skin in response to sunlight exposure, making it unique among vitamins. This vitamin is essential for maintaining healthy muscle function, bone health and immune support. It helps your body absorb calcium, which is crucial for bone health and muscle contractions. Without adequate vitamin D3, your muscles can become weak and your risk of injuries increases. Furthermore, it's been shown to influence testosterone levels, which are crucial for muscle growth and recovery. Vitamin D3 is also said to support muscle function and strength and helps to prevent deficiencies that can lead to muscle weakness and reduced performance. A 2017 study investigating the role of various vitamin D metabolites in muscle function and body composition found that active vitamin D3 positively correlated with muscle strength and lean mass, particularly in lean women, while inactive vitamin D3 was inversely related to body fat and linked to glucocorticoid metabolism. However, a 2011 study indicated that while there was no consistent association between inactive vitamin D3 or PTH levels and muscle mass and strength, 
Low levels of active vitamin D3 were linked to lower skeletal muscle mass and reduced knee extension strength in individuals under 65. The study suggests some inconsistencies as to whether this supplement improves lean muscle mass. But if you live in a colder climate or don't get enough sun, you'll probably see some benefit. Protein powder. It's no secret that protein is the most important macronutrient for muscle growth, with protein powder being the most widely consumed supplement in the industry. In particular, whey protein has ranked as the highest quality protein source when compared to several other protein sources like soy or plant-based proteins, mainly due to its higher leucine content. While protein powder is convenient and readily available to get your quick fix of protein, especially for those who don't have the time to prepare a high protein meal, for most people it is relatively easy to reach the recommended protein intake with their regular diet. So while protein powder is quite abundant, it is not always necessary, even though it has been proven to increase muscle mass and strength gains. A 2015 meta-analysis suggested that while protein supplementation may not impact lean mass and muscle strength in untrained individuals during the initial weeks of resistance training, it can promote muscle hypertrophy and strength gains as training progresses, in addition to accelerating improvements in both aerobic and anaerobic power. A further meta-analysis determining the effect of whey protein on 1,863 participants found that protein supplementation significantly increased muscle strength, fat-free mass, and muscle size during prolonged resistance training. The versatility of protein powder allows you to incorporate it into various recipes or shakes to make your food a more palatable experience. While the recommended daily intake for protein is between 1.2 to 1.6 grams per kilogram of body weight, taking around 25 to 50 grams of protein powder per day may be sufficient to give your muscles a consistent supply of amino acids to fuel muscle recovery and quicker growth. The best times to take whey protein are in the morning, to break the overnight fast, and immediately after your workout to aid in muscle recovery. But be careful. Consuming too much protein may lead to digestive issues including nausea, diarrhea, and cramping. Each of these supplements can play a pivotal role in helping you build muscle faster and more effectively, but they're not always necessary and safe for your body. Speak with your medical provider to determine if these supplements are right for you, and remember, while supplements can give you that extra edge, they work best when combined with a solid training program and a balanced diet. We'll dive into more tips to maximize your muscle growth and overall fitness in future videos. In the meantime, be sure to check out these two essential videos right here, packed with insights that can help you fine-tune your routine and maximize your results. Until next time, stay strong, train smart, and I'll catch you in the next one.